My husband is blind and this is the day we got married. This is the day, you guys. We've been building toward this part of the, the series yeah. for a while. And if you missed the part one of our whole wedding week story, in, in fact, the whole, the whole playlist, the whole right, story. There's, There's a, a whole story from the playlist. day we met that's leading First. our state, proposals, it's all there. It's all <laughs> here. It's all here. And the, the last time we talked about the wedding day, Mr. Maple's <laughs> making an appearance. Unfortunately, hello. Mr. You Maple were not there. was not there you for our wedding day. You were supposed to be a ring bearer. Yes, mm -hmm. because we got married in December of 2019. <laughs> Maple's his tail, tail is trying to take down the Christmas tree. Taking down the Christmas tree. He Don't has you take down his the tail Christmas has tree. knocked an ornament, Don't a couple you. ornaments off, uh, and they've shattered. Yep. I think yep. that's happened twice. Once last year, it happened again this year already. So we left off. Ah, hold going on. to sleep. Yes, but before we on our wedding eve night, on the eve of our wedding, Matthew's now playing tug with Maple. He's so excited because as soon as we start talking, he knows it's lights, camera, action. Yeah. No, we didn't get Mr. Maple until uh, almost two years after we got married, so that's why he wasn't present. We were Mapleless. We were. Our lives weren't complete yet. Before we jump into this, can I mention what we're wearing and why we're wearing these shirts? Please talk about these horrendous outfits. These are not horrendous. Do you really Tasteless. feel that way? Do you really feel that way? Fashion. You guys, these. Well, this you is... know, let me just say this. If I was getting married today, I would probably wear something different. Well, everybody who watched the previous installment, they know that we went down to Mexico in Zihuatanejo, Mexico, where we had our wedding, without our wedding clothes picked out yet, and yeah. we picked out these shirts from local boutiques. And Matthews kind of came right down to the wire, and we didn't even know like if it was gonna be perfectly fit or tailored. I was gonna time. match, I was gonna match you. Matthew I was bought, gonna wear this. Matthew bought an identical Put shirt Put it on like me. This. No. We no. didn't like it. I do not wear white well. It looked good on you, but it wasn't like as nicely fitted, and we wanted to do something a little different. Yeah. But I just noticed something. Look at these sleeves. I mean, are these, have I grown since you're, our wedding you're day? You're a growing boy. <laughs> All right, we're getting way so off So we track. wake up. We woke up on our on wedding On our wedding day. day. Bright and early. I don't know, do we wake up early in Mexico or not? No, I mean like our usual time, like 8, 8 a.m., between 8 okay. and 9. And we were super Regular relaxed. vacation time. We were super relaxed because everything had really been planned. We had the flowers and, and the decorations. There was nothing for us to do till like 4 p.m.? I think there was a little bit of decorating. I recall us getting the flower, like helping Umberto kind of set up the flowers as you guys- I did not touch a single arrangement. I know that you were putting up the papel picado over oh, the infinity pool. I did help with that. Yes, yeah, so we were- because I was the tallest one there. <laughs> yes, yeah. and we were decorating and getting it all kind of set up. As you guys recall, we got married yeah. in a tiny boutique hotel overlooking a bed bay, and breakfast. a bed and breakfast, owned by a, another couple, Umberto and Jesus. They were wonderful. And we got married on their little, the rooftop of this hotel. There was a little infinity pool, these little lookouts, these two little yeah. lookout spots on either side of the infinity pool. And we were getting married on one of those little lookouts. Mm -hmm. And I was wanting so badly, my dream was to time our I do's with the perfectly setting sun, yes. which I remember on that date, December 15, 2019 was setting at 6.05 p.m. Exactly. And all week long, we'd been socked in with clouds and I was pretty much- The sun would dip behind the clouds and that was it. Like at 5.30 or something. And Long you before and it wasn't, the actual sunset. And it wasn't pretty either. No, no. Because <laughs> it just disappeared behind a bank of clouds and you didn't get like the sun kissing the ocean, that mm -hmm. perfect reflection, all the colors. So Matthew, one of yes. the very first things I remember about that day yeah. was waking up and Umberto saying that a westerly wind was expected to come in to sweep away the clouds that had been blocking the sunset all week. Oh, wow. And nice. I was, I, I'd never even heard of a westerly wind. Yeah. It sounded so whimsical and beautiful and I was like, which ones had you heard of? I mean, I've never. North, south. I've just never four. heard anybody call a wind a westerly wind. Yeah. Okay, there is the sun rising over wedding day, and it will set right out there in the bay of La Ropa tonight, just as we are saying I do. Oh, hear that? There, 
and there's one answering down here. They've all caught word of our wedding, so they're spreading the news. Pretty sure that's what's happening. Did we go and pick up that chocolate cake? Made the did cake. Did we pick it up the, our wedding day or the day before? The day, the day of. Okay, there's something we did. We were not completely useless. And we Matthew, picked up one of an, an, an additional wedding cake. We had to the one, like the big one. The big one. That had our little figurines on top. And Umberto actually picked these out and had these custom made. Yeah. And he was so apologetic because he said he got the eye colors on the wrong figures. Oh. Because the blonde yes. one was supposed to be me. Yes. And the blonde one has the brown eyes and they the brown haired one has the blue eyes. Reversed. So they reversed them. And they used to have a little flags that they were holding between yeah. them. They were holding like little... this hand to this mm -hmm. hand and it said M. One and flag said M and one said ampersand and then P. Matthew and Paul. And um, it has fault it fell off. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get it re One of their heads created. is going to go next. So <laughs> I kind of like that our eyes are switched though. Yeah. Because like it was like I don't you, want your eyes. You gave me your eyes. your eyes. You no, gave me you. your no, eyes so you. that I could see on our wedding day. <laughs> and my cousin uh, made these beautiful figurines. So as you know, uh, penguins became kind of a theme of our wedding because I put them on our wedding invitations. My cousin made a uh, these ceramic penguin characters. And look we, at this. Isn't this so sweet? This was our wedding gift. That was one of the, oh, so, so they got added to the cake. So they were lower level. They were also on the cake. Listen, I wanted them on top of the cake. There was this whole debate because, but then Umberto was like, surprised us with these. Yeah. He put so much work into the whole wedding. So there was room for everybody, okay? So we pick up a cake. We're putting up papel piccados over the pool and people. So are the, wait, did showing people up. arrive or did the mariachi? No, people, <laughs> no, people, people are arriving first. first. Yes. Because I think the ceremony was gonna start at like 5.45, so maybe it was closer to 5, five. o'clock. Maybe about 5. 5 o'clock people are showing up. They're showing up, everybody's looking Kind beautiful. of the like peak of the heat of the day, which it was guys, a really stupid thing. It was so hot. And there was, was like not a lot of coverings and there's no fans up there. It was no. really, we were baking up there. And I remember one of our guests arrived in like a full suit, like a suit you guys. And he was drenched in sweat because he had hiked from his hotel up this hill. Decided to walk. We were up on this hill and he didn't yeah. take a taxi. No. <laughs> well, and then we were just kind of mingling in the heat, all kind of like fanning ourselves yeah. for a while. Yeah. Then what happened? Then the mariachi band shows up. Mariachi band, yes. the beautiful, ornate, gowns. What do you call them? Outfits. Poncho. No, they no. were like they were dresses. Oh, they were like gowns. Okay, well, well, by the way, because of my vision, I Paul mean, they, still doesn't know. What I they still were don't wearing, know what they were wearing, even though he looked at the photos afterwards. I you'll you piece them together as ponchos. What does my face look like? <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> you ponchos! You. You're beautiful. You're 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 wearing a poncho right ponchos, now, aren't you? Yes. Everybody, everybody at the wedding wore ponchos. It was so. I was wearing a poncho as they began to fill up one side of yes. the deck. That kind of pushed all of us to the other side, and then just to make room, people yeah. slowly started to sit by the edge of the pool and then put their feet in, and that was like relaxing and cooling and refreshing. Yes. And so like the more of your body you got into the oh, pool, oh, it ended up being great. Cooler you. Got. Um, there we, was a point where like the whole side of the pool yes. was just people sitting on the edge. It was a pool just party. Knee deep into this pool and we, yeah. It was we, a mariachi <laughs> pool. <laughs> so this mariachi band who, by the way, they were like incredible. They were so fun. They were, oh, you, you had requested just instruments, no singing. And it was loud singing. Oh, like, you were just like, singing. whatever, whatever. I was like, it's all part of the experience now. It was super it was like fun. Three violins and two trumpets and four oh, guitars. It was amazing. It was amazing. And, and it's time for you and I to run downstairs, change into these shirts. Yep. Have a moment, just you and I. Yes. We stood under this air conditioner. Yes. Like the, under the, the, the cool air is just falling on us and we held hands and we had a private moment of excitement yes. before going upstairs. Okay. We went out first, met my uncle. My uncle was our officiant. He was wonderful. We had, we had like given him some things to say, but he kind of ad-libbed a little and it was yeah. perfect and he's known us for a long time. So it was really beautiful. It was beautiful. I remember exactly where I was standing. I remember the, the, the breeze the smells, all of those feelings are very still present with me. So yeah. what do you remember about the actual ceremony part of it? Uh, just how quick it was. Yeah. Like it took almost no time. Mm -hmm. 
You said your vows, I said mine. By the way, about my vows, I, and I have never shared them publicly, I wanna keep that between us. The day we met, I had written in my journal, I think I just met my husband. But I saved the whole paragraph that I had written yeah. for the, my vows. When I finished my vows, there was complete silence and I just heard my, my aunt. She goes, wow, that was deep. <laughs> we all just burst out laughing. It kind of like broke the ice a little bit. It was really sweet. So then after the vows, we had the, ex the, the exchange of rings. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember what happened? So my finger had swollen so much. The heat and the humidity. Yeah. Yeah. So Paul was trying to push the ring over my finger. It wouldn't go past his knuckles. I mean, I'm already sweating because it's really hot. But I'm starting to sweat even more because you can't get over and this one knuckle. So I'm, I just put, I don't know. Did it even go, did it go on? That must have been really kind of scary to push it, it over It did go the on. And I did think like, <laughs> I may be in a hospital <laughs> tonight. Oh no! As they try to like cut it out. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's one of those things you just don't think about. Right. Like, you know, in every video you see this, the ring slips on like it right. was like buttered. But anybody planning a tropical wedding, just keep that in mind. Keep the, in mind. The bloat is real. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> and then something else very special happened. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I played yes. Hallelujah on my violin. I almost saw it as like an extension of my vows. Yes, um, it really was. In fact, yeah. I liked it better than mm. actually reading my vows. I liked mm. that more. That mm. felt more me, more it was authentic, beautiful. more genuine to how I express myself yeah. in front of people. Yeah. Is I don't like talking in front of people, but I do like performing my violin. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful way to communicate. And you played Hallelujah. I asked you to play that song, sort of Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah, because uh, the summer we met, it was actually the very first song I ever kind of like requested of you to play mm -hmm. for me because it was always been a personal favorite of mine. That was had some special meaning for us. In fact, on today's extended episode, I will perform Hallelujah. <gasps> what? For all of you. You're gonna play it right now? Might as well. Okay. Right. Okay. This is, I'll play it in my wedding shirt. <laughs> so this will be like the second time yes. that this, this has ever happened. This shirt is imbued with that song already. It is. Okay. So for the extended episode though? Yes. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. That was so beautiful. Thank you so much, Matthew. Thank you. I'm always just, I have like full body chills whenever you play that song. Thank you. If you want to see and hear Matthew play his violin, he's so talented. It's so beautiful. Please, uh, you can unlock all of our extended content by going to patreon.com forward slash Matthew and Paul. Or if you're on YouTube, you can tap right here and get your fill of Hallelujah performed for you right now in my wedding shirt, exactly the way it was done. How many years ago? Four, Five, years, four ago. years ago. We just had our four year <laughs> wedding anniversary. And by the way, I did get my sunset. It was so perfectly timed when we said I do. You and I kind of looked over at our audience. No one was looking at us. They were all looking at the sunset. It totally backfired, you guys. We were invisible. <laughs> Everybody Don't was more- Don't your wedding with a sunset. <laughs>